Hello again, it's my privilege today to share part two of my devotion and I'm going to be talking about the second part of that verse in Philippians where Paul says, I'm straining towards what is ahead, off the back of him saying, forgetting what is behind. And as a simple reminder, I want to lay again the importance of our straining, our striving, our pressing on isn't in order to receive any of God's goodness or grace or blessings or forgiveness or any of those wonderful things. It's because of those things we strain to what is ahead. Like Paul said, let us live up to that what we have already attained. So to strain towards what is ahead, I think very simply means to uh, if I could say it bluntly, is to put in the hard work. You know, we talk about grace being freely given, but it does come with expectations. Therefore, in view of God's mercy, Romans 12, offer your life as a living sacrifice. In the book of Corinthians, Paul talks a lot about the race and really, that's what I want to draw us to today. In Philippians, he talks about straining towards what is ahead. In Corinthians, he gives a bit more picture to what that looks like. He tells us that in the games, in the Olympic games, as an example, uh, someone goes into strict training in order to compete in the games. And I think strict training uh, for us as the believer means taking our faith seriously. In Philippians, again, Paul talks in Philippians 2 about continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling or another phrase is with awe and with responsibility. So whilst we are covered by God's grace and God's love, he does expect us to work at our salvation, to to strengthen our faith, to strengthen our lifestyle, to to get more serious about living in the right way. And, and for me, that's what the straining walk towards what is ahead is all about. Just like in health and fitness, a runner will will go into strict training. What will they do? They will eat the right foods. They will drink the right fluids. They will have the right amount of sleep and rest and recovery. And so when we translate that into our spiritual journey, eating the right foods as opposed to eating the wrong foods, meditating on God's word day and night, as David writes in Psalm 1, allowing God's spirit to be the, 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 the fuel through our bodies. All of these things, what you put in is what you get out. Paul talks about beating my body and making it my slave. And, you know, for anyone that does any kind of health or fitness, you'll know that it's hard work, but it is rewarding. And so, like I've said before to our church many times, that the Christian walk is simple, but it's not easy. And for us in walking that journey, it's about realising, you know what, I have to put good stuff in and I have to stop putting bad stuff in. That takes sacrifice, that takes effort, that takes um, a straining and a striving to do the right thing. And so I want to remind us that, that whilst God's grace is free, it comes with expectations. And you and I, we are called to live a life worthy of the calling we've received. And that means taking our faith seriously. So straining towards what is ahead is to put all those good things into our life, to meditate on his word, to walk in tune with the spirit and not to allow the negative influences around us to infiltrate our soul. Forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which Christ has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. God bless you.